Well, in the blessed Holy Ghost, or shall I say in the ghost most holy, amen. I'm Brother Dwayne, and I welcome you to another exciting word from the Cry for America as we document Dr. Kwa, God's servant, as he ministers the word of God here in November as he's dealing with this 2020 election as he has heard from the Lord. Amen. This word is exciting. It's a blessing. We hope that you like, share, and subscribe to our video channel. We welcome you on behalf of the Shekinah Family Church as we meet out in Romulus at 30559 Flynn Drive near Detroit Metro Airport where we are led by Pastor Fields. If you want to contact us, you can reach us at area code 313-300-6457. We're going to go now to Dr. Kwa as he ministers, amen, how God is anguished and rejects the results of this election here in the year 2020. Let's go now to Dr. Kwa, amen. When at the cross the Savior made me whole, made me whole, my sins were washed away, and my night was turned to day. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul, my soul. Hallelujah. Heaven came down. <laughs> Heaven came down, brother. Heaven came down, brother. Ah, and glory filled my soul. Glory filled my soul. Yes God, 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 thank you Jesus, ah, my Father God, oh God is good, the living God, yes God, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, oh Father God, we are here again, in the presence of the Holy Ghost, to declare what the Lord has said, not what man has said. So if you don't, if you can't believe it, you can't accept it. Go, go, go and knock on the heaven's gate, and see if they will answer you. <laughs> they will tell you, "Depart, you worker of iniquity." <laughs> Did you not know that I gave this word to my servant to to, to make known to the nations? So I just went to church. You just went to church. <laughs> Ah, yes, God. Hallelujah. We started yesterday with the message from November, what, 8th. All right? I'm coming back down. I'm coming back down and then shoot up again. <laughs> Woo! Yes, God. This is November 5th. Ah, uh, I tell you. I don't know if I can read all because I want to go fifth, six. I, I'm, I'm just reading, so it, it ain't going to be long. Oh, yes. Now, this is after we have complained to the Lord, okay, in prayer about what is happening, okay? And we'll be crying like crazy. You know, because the, the Lord, I never heard that before. He said, watch the news, right? And whatever you see, you see, Y'all don't believe that when I say read August or uh, August 12th, God calling. Y'all you, you say don't believe that because y'all don't do nothing. You, you watch as the world turns <laughs> and you don't see, don't turn into any good thing. He said, watch what goes on in your nation. Don't you know? You see, the amazing thing is that the Lord said, listen, this earth I gave to man. I gave this earth to man, to Adam. And his seed, his descendants. And then they give it up to the devil. And I came in my mercy to come and save you, deliver you, break the power of the devil over your souls. All right? So that you can now live in me and I live in you. But why didn't I take you, take you to heaven when I saved you? But I left you down here. So you can rule. You can exercise dominion Amen. over this earth of woe and save people for my name's sake. Amen. But then we took that wonderful message and made it church. And we've been going, 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 and the world is sinking, sinking, sinking in darkness. Amen. And we're still going, going, going. 
when will you understand that it's not about just going to church? Come on, just merely going to church? You think that will help the world? That will bring souls in? It is walking with the Lord. Walking with the Lord. And uh, it will be said of you that they took notice. Damazo. They took notice of them. That they have been with that, with that Galilean that we didn't like. You hear me now? <laughs> they will take notice of what is happening in your soul. Amen. This is what the Lord wants. First Corinthians chapter, chapter, I think, uh, chapter 1 verse 9. We said it before. God is faithful who called you to, uh, to church. Call, what did he call you to? <laughs> to the fellowship of his son. Fellowship of his son to commune with him. You tell me, if you commune with him, what is it that going to happen to you? Church will happen to you. There shall be a transformation of your inner life. Your life will be, you find yourself being conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. That's why I say it's not about just going to church. You are my church. There's one whole message over here. He said, tell my people, when will they understand? That I didn't say they should just go to church. I said they should walk with me. Walk with me. Allow me to transform their inner life. And then I conform them to my image. And they shall be my witnesses. You see that? They will be my witnesses when they are in touch with me. Because I will change them from within their being. And they will begin to have impact wherever they go. My presence will ooze out of their being. Yes, Haven't you read in the Bible in somewhere in 2 Corinthians that we are the fragrance of Christ? Yes. Fragrance of Christ? Whoever smells some fragrance from you? <laughs> Who, which, what sinner ever smells some fragrance from you? You've been in church since Moses. Uh, those on the internet, what, 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 what sinner ever smells some fragrance because you pass by? You pass by the sinner. And you say, wow, you smell good. What is that? It's Jesus. <laughs> you see that? The Lord insists with us, listen, the Lord has told us that he ain't asking us to just go to church. He wants to see us transformed. That is our, 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 our training. That we will be transformed. Say, no lie. You ain't going to lie. You ain't going to lie to me. Like you all lie everywhere. <laughs> you tell truth. You learn to speak truth. As I, the Lord, I speak truth. There is no darkness in me. How can you say you are my servant but you are full of darkness? Full of kalabule. You know, in Ghana you say kalabule. In Ghana it's a crooked. So you have crooked stuff, you say kalabule. <laughs> oh! <laughs> now they have a new name. What's the new name they give now? 409. 409. <laughs> the crooked people, they are called the 409 people. They are crooks. You see that? But you can't walk with God and be a crook. And be a demon crack. <laughs> a demon rat. <laughs> they are full of crookedness. Because godlessness makes you crooked. Only God makes you righteous. And the demon crack party put away God from among them. So look at their fruit. Crookedness, liars, cheaters. My Lord, don't they have a sense of shame? Will, will, will this, this other man be comfortable knowing he cheated? Knowing he lied? How can he be comfortable? And he going about saying, yeah, they voted for me. Them devils voted for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm in trouble. But I for me, unless the Lord don't don't turn me loose. <laughs> but if He turn me loose, He gave me the power. He said, "Gonna give me, brother. I'm why I'll be walking, preaching, walking, preaching, <laughs> running and preaching, climbing and preaching." 
<laughs> Everywhere. I'm walking preaching. What in the world is happening to the people? A whole political party has steeped in the in the in the in the what? In the in the oh what is that? Oh, oh I've, I've forgotten the word I want, but steeped in lies. In the expertise of lying. <laughs> come, come on now. Are you hear me now? So it is not about just going to church. Right? It's about being saved and staying close with Jesus, abiding in Him, communing with Him. That we've been given commandment, all right, by the Lord, to commune with Him daily. Daily. Read the word. Daily. Until the word possesses your inner life. How can you have the word of God possessing your inner life and you act like a crooked man? It ain't going to work. The word will destroy all your crookedness. Ooh, yes, God. Ah, Father God. So we're complaining about, about what is happening. Right? And then the Lord, you know, when he comes down. I, what's this one? I don't think we, we, we sang a song. Well, well I, don't, I don't see. But then when the Lord, oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I will rebuke them. I will chastise them. And I will deal with them severely. Yes, I say I will deal with them severely. Yes, I will rebuke them, chastise them, and deal with them severely. Yes, it is I, the Lord God. Yes, it is I, the Lord God. Yes, I want you to know that it is I, the Lord God himself. Yes, I want you to know that it is I, the Lord your God himself. The Lord your God who is the I am that I am. Yes, the I am that I am. I say to you, it is the I am that I am. The one who is the I am that I am. I say no, 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 no to what they are doing. No. No. Otherwise, brother, cancel it. You ain't going nowhere. When the Lord says no to what you are doing, it's over. <laughs> No, no, no. My heart is in anguish. Yes, my heart is in deep anguish. Yes, my heart is in anguish. Yes, there is deep anguish in my heart. What is happening is not here. It is a, it's not true. It's not truth. <laughs> it's not truth. That's r lie outright. Lie in its nature. Lie from its root. It comes from the, the source of lies. It's not truth. When the devil does anything, it is rooted in lies. So who is it that is pulling this thing on us? The devil. One, man, one, one prophet saw something. He was so you know, tormented by it. So I think it was November 4th or so. He preached it. Okay, then he said, listen. I had a dream. And in the dream, I was hearing that, you know, Biden, uh, uh, the other man, the other man, as the Lord calls him, the other man, you know, has won. And he was saying, Lord, in the dream, Lord, what's going on? No, Lord, it cannot be. So he said, Lord, this cannot be. So he woke out of, out of his dream. And then, sure enough, he saw Biden making an announcement. All right? And when he opened his mouth talking, in the spirit, it was Satan standing right behind him. The devil standing right behind you know, Biden, spewing his lies. That's what you're going to have. That is what America will have when you put this man, a cursed man there. In the name of Jesus, it shall not be. In the name of Jesus, we shall fight it. 
not with weapons of war, but with the spirit weapons by the Holy Ghost. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds, we cast down right, in false imaginations. And everything that rises itself Lord, in rebellion against God, we destroy it and, and, and judge it. I tell you, that's why he says, no, no, no. My heart is in anguish. Yes, my heart is in anguish, in deep anguish. What is happening is not truth. What is happening is not truth. What I told you is truth. What I told my people, my prophet, is truth. Yes, what I told you is truth. You know what I told you, don't you? Yes, what I told you is truth. Yes, that's truth. Yes, that is the truth I told you. Yes, I say, what I told you, that is the truth. Did I not tell you the truth? Did I not tell you the truth? Yes, what I told you is exactly the truth. And I say unto you that what I told you is exactly the truth. Yes, it is I, the Lord God. Yes, the Lord God Almighty. Yes, it is true that I gave him my servant Trump. I gave him the victory. Don't you see that? Uh, you know, if they hadn't, you know, you know pulled out that demonic, you know, you know, trick, the guy was pulling away from Biden, just eight hundred and something thousand, you know, votes ahead. You know, in all these states that have become, you know, battle grounds, Trump was leading all of them. That was the victory was coming in, as according to the word of God. And the devil said, "Hold on, hold on, one more, one last chance. Let's fight good. Let's go good." He said, "Now, now, all you." Well, poor, you know, you know, those who are counting this, they say, put your stuff down, go and break. He <laughs> <You know, it's laughs> said, go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go and break and rest. Have you ever heard in the midst of counting votes that they leave and go and break? Even the devil knows it's a lie. <laughs> the devil himself knows what they did is a lie. But they asked him to help them. So he too is saying, <laughs> Oh, I tell you. <laughs> but they are in trouble. The, the demon crutch, they are in big trouble. He says here, uh, <clears throat> The Lord says, It is true that I gave him, my servant Trump, the victory. Yes, I gave him the victory. I told you that he will win. And surely I have given him the victory. I say to you, I gave him the victory. But why will I bring him upon the throne and forsake him and remove him from the throne of the nation when he has not finished the work I gave him to do? I wrote out this, this part of the message a little bit um, as a text message sent to someone who is in touch with them. Sent to them. This is what God, God said. This is what God said. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. He said, why will I forsake him and remove him from the throne of the nation when he has not finished the work I gave him to do? I say, why will I bring him upon the throne and then remove him? When he has not finished the work I called him to do for me. It is true that I gave him the victory. Yes, I called him and I have given him the victory. Yes, I gave him the victory. But they have stolen the victory I gave him. They have reversed everything and stolen the victory I gave him. Yes, they have stolen it from him. They have, they have taken a crooked path and reversed the victory I gave to my servant. They did not follow the right path. They did not do what is right. They followed a crooked path to steal the victory from him. They have turned everything upside down. 
Brother, it's chaotic now. Chaos. Confusion. No certainty. Division. Because a party wants to, you know, you know, lie and cheat the people. And yet you are supposed to, you know, get your, your power from the people. And you swindle the people. <laughs> Ooh, they have turned everything upside down. But who is he that is a deceiver? Who is he? I say, who is he that is the deceiver? They have followed Satan, the deceiver, and have turned everything upside down and seek to put the other man on my throne. I, I said, God, don't know his name. But woe be unto you, if God only calls you the other man. <laughs> you, 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 you have no use to God. He, he don't want to see you. <laughs> ah, my Lord. Says here, they have followed Satan, the deceiver, and have turned everything upside down and seek to put the other man on my throne. But I say, I do not want the other man on my throne. No, no, no. I do not want the other man on my throne, says the Lord. He is not the one I have chosen. No, no. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Make it clear. If you like, I agree with him. If you lie, strive. <laughs> uh, 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 when you read the Bible, did the, the, the earth, one time the earth opened its mouth and swallowed some folk? Oh, he did. The earth swallowed some folk. <laughs> we are praying that all the demon crowds will gather together and let the earth swallow them. They are, they are crooked. Un unless they are willing to repent of their wickedness, they belong to hell. They have no right to rule or, or not right in this nation. This nation, tell me, tell me something. Those who know your, your American history. What does he say? We hold this truth as what? Self-evident that what? All men are created equal and they are what? Endowed by their monkey? By their who? America is the only nation, apart from Israel, the only nation that at its birth declares that God created man. God, man didn't come from monkey. The man didn't come from monkey. God created man. And the man God created, they are all equal. And then he gave them certain what? Inalienable rights. Rights you can't take away from them. The rights of American citizens don't come from Biden, don't come from Obama, don't come from the crooked Democrat Party. The rights of this nation, of all Americans, come from God. God, therefore, did not create socialism. Are you hearing me now? Okay, he says, among these are the what? The right to life, liberty, freedom. Does socialism give a man freedom? It's an accursed system. That, that, that accursed socialist. Call, call, call what? That guy from, from, from Sanders. Sanders? You want to you wanna strive with God? Obama? You want to strive with God? Biden? Joe who? Beijing Biden. Beijing Biden. That sold his soul to, to China. He want to rule over this nation. Ah, woe be unto the evil doers. Woe to the evil doers. Who think they want to fight against God and win? Ah, I don't want to be. I don't want to be part of the demon rats. Maybe you want to be part of them. God, they are going to suffer a devastating blow. We are praying for this party to be crushed. 
Never to raise their ugly head again. Never. With all the, all the boogaloo media, lying media. I thought Fox was, was a good, good, good guy. But it's as a curse as all the other media. Snake in the grass. Ah, uh, me, I'm in trouble. That's why I say, God, don't, don't tell me loose now. You tell me loose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes, God. Listen. But I say, I do not want the other man on my throne. No, no. I do not want the other man on my throne. He is not the one I have chosen. No, no, no. I have not chosen the other man. And I don't want him on my throne. The throne of the nation is mine. And I say to you that I do not want the other man on my throne. So have I not told you some, some of the messages, okay, way back there, how the Lord says at the beginning of this nation, our forefathers made him what? The foundation of this nation. They made the Lord Almighty entered into a covenant with God that God should be the foundation on which they build. Has any nation ever done that? Not here. Has any nation apart from Israel? You don't see why America and Israel go together? Because they are the only ones that, that look for God in their government. Oh, my Lord. Ah, yes, sir. He is not the one I have chosen. No, no, no. I have not chosen the other man, and I don't want him on my throne. The throne of the nation is mine, and I say to you that I do not want the other man on my throne. I'm telling you that that man is not the one I'm looking for. No, he is not the one I'm looking for. My heart is not at peace about what has transpired. No, my heart is troubled. By what has taken place. No, he is not the one I put on my throne in, uh, in the nation. No, I did not put that man on the throne of the nation. I want you all to know that he will never sit on my throne. No, he will not sit on the throne of the nation. Because I did not put him there on the throne in the first place. So he is not the one I want on my throne. Yes, it is my servant Trump I put on my throne. Yes, he is the one I put on my throne. Yes, he is the one. Have I never heard this before? That heaven and earth is behind Trump. And that, that means that the kind of mission given to this man, this man that we don't, we don't respect, this man that we fought against. This man that all hell hate. The Lord said all the demonic world has gang up against his servant. But don't you see this past four years? No man can survive you know, what this guy has gone through. He seems to thrive on the pressure. My Lord. <laughs> uh, listen, 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 listen. If you want to see, if you want to see Trump, if you want to see him in action, read Psalm 124. That is, that is Trump's, Trump, Trump's psalm. If he had not been the Lord, who was on my side? Now let Trump say. <laughs> Go read Psalm 124. Every child of God reads Psalm 124. And you see who is behind this man. The snare is broken. Uh, they, can, they can try to ensnare all they want to. Right, he says here. I, it, yes, it's my servant Trump I put on my throne. Yes, he's the one I put on my throne. Yes, he's the one heaven and earth testifies about him. Brother, no, no, listen, listen, listen. Do you have eyes? We are, these eyes don't see nothing. Do, do you see heaven testifying? But the Lord Jesus is saying, hey, heaven testifies and earth testifies on behalf of Trump that he is God's chosen vessel. I don't know, brother, don't argue with God. 
Okay? Don't argue with God. Did you create this world? Do you know what is going on in this, in this world that the Lord brought this man on top? Obama was not of God. I say it without any fear. Because God has said it to us. He led the nation where God did not intend him to lead the nation. And for that, there is judgment coming on Obama for what he's done against this nation. Oh, heavens, I cry unto you. Hear the cry of your people. And come down, oh Lord, in vengeance against the wicked. I didn't know that people are very wicked. I didn't know until the Lord said, I said, pray. He said, so some things that were uh, 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 exposed, he said, haven't I told you to pray? It's only as my people pray that I reveal the hidden things. Right. Only as you cry to me. You don't cry, I don't reveal. So when the church is serious and starts crying to God, I will reveal the hidden things of darkness. Because there are great wickedness. Covered, I would say. He said, I, the Lord, I see all that. But who will I expose so that he will take action? Huh? If God exposes, who even know that God exposes? But when we cry to God, all right, and he exposes, we say, wow, look at what God did. You see, when God answers prayer and you ain't in the Holy Ghost, you ain't going to see. No, you won't see. You see that? We know all that is going on is because we've been crying to God. We've been crying. He's been telling us, keep, keep praying. The more you pray, the more I expose the hidden things of darkness. Ah. Oh, yes, God. He says here, all of his, he's the one, he's the one heaven and earth testifies about. So he's the one who will sit on the throne. Yes, he is my servant, and he will, he will sit on the throne. It is I, the Lord your God, whose name is I am that I am. Yes, I am the one speaking to you and telling you, it is my servant Trump who will sit on my throne. Yes, the throne of this nation I have given to Trump to rule and do my will. Brother, you can fight all you want to. Can you fight against God? You man of earth, you want to you wanna fight against a God who is spirit. He just blows some wind on you, gone. <laughs> there are times, you know, some of our actions, okay, you know, it provokes the Lord to anger. Ooh. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> he, he says, you, your, your donor side, maybe you want to see that I am, I am who I say I am. That's why you are, you are, you are being disobedient in certain ways. He said, don't provoke me to anger. So he said, if you want to see it, I will, I will manifest myself. Because he said, don't you read that I, that I caused the earth to open up, you know, you know, her mouth and swallow people. So have you not read that? Yeah. Who did that? He said, we said, he's asking us, who did that? I said, Lord, Lord, it is you. <laughs> he said, listen, don't provoke, okay? Learn to walk with me in obedience. Okay? Love one another. Watch your sleepiness. Ooh, Yamaguzo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He says here, ah, brother, he says, it is I, the Lord, your God, whose name is I am that I am. Yes, I am the one speaking to you and telling you it is my servant Trump who will sit on my throne. Yes, the throne of the nation. Now, I want you to know that you are not the only ones. You are not the only ones I reveal. He's, he's telling us, you are not the only ones I reveal this to. No. I have revealed this very fact that Trump is going to win and, and continue what I want him to do in this nation. I reveal it to several of my prophets. Okay? I have revealed it to many of my servants who also, now, uh, my servants also, and they also know that my servant Trump is the one who will sit on my throne. 
and in the in the what in the mouth of what one or two or, or but in this case about I've heard about ten prophets <coughs> declaring the same thing. What God has revealed to them, and they have said that if you want go to uh, uh, what well, is supernatural, that's where they all go. Okay, because said wrath you know, is open. Okay, to, to the voice of God, and they go. He said, uh, "Brother, what has God revealed to you?" And they said, "This is what God revealed." Okay, this is what I have seen, and they all see the same thing. Okay, from various angles. So he said, "I have revealed this also to to, to many of my servants." Okay, it's that that my servant Trump is the one who will sit on my throne. Yes, that's all I have said. Yes, I have said what I want you to know. And surely, things must change. And it must be reversed. If things are not reversed, then what I will do to all those involved, you cannot endure it. Yes, if they do not reverse the situation, my chastisement woo, of all those involved will be unbearable. My rebuke and the severe punishment I will pour upon them will be more than they can endure. I will unleash a mighty fire upon them. Yes, I mean fire that will destroy them. Have I not said in my word that upon the wicked, the Lord shall rain snares? That's the Bible. Upon the wicked, the Lord shall rain snares fire and brimstone yes i will rain down fire and sulfur upon the wicked yes i will rain down fire and brimstone upon them if they will not do what i desire if they do not do my will if they will not do what pleases me and what will satisfy my heart i will bring down a severe judgment upon them I will bring down and cause thick darkness to engulf them and cover them up. There is not an ounce of truth in them. No, not an ounce of truth in them all. But who is it who wants to put them on my throne? Who is the one behind? That wants the demon rush to sit on my throne. <laughs> is it not the devil? <laughs> Yes, they have lied to the people and have deceived the people. It is, is it any wonder that they are liars and deceive the people? They are one with their father, the devil. You hear that? The demon rats are in cahoots with the devil. That's what God is saying. They are one with their father, the devil. And they seek to do the works of their father. They are one with him and they carry out his works. Let them alone. I will finish them off. I will surely put an end to them for their wickedness. Listen, all, that, all, all of you, if you can, if you can uh, record this message, I don't know how to give it to you. Record it, make a recording, and then send it to people. Just tell them. Because it's going to happen. That is very awful. If they insist on their rebellion, you're going to have some strange death in this nation. Some strange death. Some strange sicknesses. Some strange plagues coming upon this nation. Coming to destroy the wicked. Ah. So you will not find them anymore. So when I, when I deal with them, you will not find them anymore. Yes, I will finish them off. And they will not be found anymore. They are accursed children. Engulfed in thick darkness. Darkness has taken over them. There is no truth in them. Yes, not even an ounce of truth in them. But who put them in the place of power they occupy? Who? Is it not the devil? Who is their father? Their father's nature is in them. Yes, it is the nature of their father, the devil, that is in them. Don't you see their works? 
Don't you see how they conduct themselves? There is no truth in them at all. All their paths are crooked paths, and their ways are not upright and straightforward. Their hearts are filled with lies and deception, and they live accursed lives, and they carry out wicked plans throughout the nation. But I say, I will rebuke them and chastise them and deal with them severely. I say I will surely rebuke them and deal severely with them. And I will never allow that man to sit on my throne. Why should I, should I allow him to sit on my throne? Here, if I allow him to sit on my throne, then what kind of God am I? <laughs> I guess we haven't seen God before. I, 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 I ain't heard him like this before. I, <laughs> I ain't heard like him before, brother. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of God am I then? Then it means I, the Lord, I'm not true. You see, this, this is what is at stake. Is God true or not? That's what they are challenging. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can do it. We can steal and ain't, ain't nothing going to happen to us. All right. Then it means I, 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 the Lord, I am not true. I am not true to my word. Then it means I was not faithful to my word. I did not keep my word. Yet I have told my prophets. And they have declared that to you. And so I shall sit down and let you overturn what I have decreed. Oh, no. And make me a liar. Oh, no. We are going to see a power we've never seen before being displayed by God just to knock some sense in the demon rats. Ah, before the earth opened up and swallowed, had they seen anything like that? They hadn't seen anything. But look at what is it that brought that. The anger of God. Rebellion. Dishonoring God. Of outright and open rebellion against the authority of God, Moses. Moses said, God, if, if they die a natural death, then, then you haven't spoken by me. But, <laughs> but if the earth swallow, opens up and swallows them up, then they will know that they have provoked God. As soon as he finished saying, the earth opened up. <laughs> Swear them alive straight to the pit of hell. That is where the demon cries. If they don't repent of their evil deeds, they are going to end up there. Those old folk that are in the Senate, oh, the demon that they do wickedness and lies. They plot lies in the Senate, they plot lies in the house. A man called, called Adam Shift or whatever they call him. Say, how in the world could you allow somebody to lie in the midst of Congress and go scot free? Where is truth? And then when we lie, they hold us to account. <laughs> I tell you, this is crazy. But God said, a word God said, he said, this, this nation must be, what was the word? He said, I, I, we, he needs an overhaul. overhaul. Yeah, that's right, that's right, one of the words. He has to overhaul the whole nation. Yeah. Ah. He says, yeah, then it means I, the Lord, I am not true. I am not true to my word. Then it means I was not faithful to my word. I did not keep my word. The other man will not sit on my throne. No, he is not the one to sit on my throne. No, on the throne of this nation. No, I say he is not the one to sit on my throne. And he will never sit on my throne. I say to you, he will not sit on that throne. The throne of this nation is my kingly and royal throne. And he cannot sit on it. 
Yes, he will not sit on my throne. You see, you see how many times he said, God says one, something one time, he means it. But when he said it is over, <laughs> brother, you playing with fire. Yes, he will not sit on my, th on, on, on my throne. No, the wicked do not sit on my throne. I say the wicked do not sit on my throne. Amen. No, the wicked do not sit on my throne. If I ever allow this man to sit on my throne, then it means what the Lord God said is not true. That's right, yes. Hear that? What I said, Trump is the one that appointed to sit on my throne, and you defy me? And you, hey, 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 listen. So, somebody tell Joe Biden, somebody tell him there was a man they call, they call in the Bible Adonijah. Adonijah, all right, when David was, was old, and the word of God has come from, from heaven that Solomon is going to be king, right? Adonijah saw that uh, brother David is old. He went and crowned himself. That is what Joe, Joe Beijing, Beijing Biden is doing. Uh, he's going to crown himself. He's, he's, he's what? What's what, what the name he's taking? What's what the name? Elect. <laughs> so uh, look at how he's behaving. Even just the elect. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I pity them. You see, Americans for, for a long time have been deceived by the demon rights and the liberals. They have destroyed the roots of this nation, okay, in their confidence in God. Their confidence in God has been undermined in the schools, in the universities. So that all these university students are more, more or less atheists. Atheists. These are the ones that liberal policies have produced in our schools. You, you go and teach a course on how to be a homosexual. You crazy? Let me, let, 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 let me say, if I allow this man to sit on my throne, it means what the Lord God said is not true. So I say to you, it will never happen. <laughs> yes, it will never happen. No, never. I will rebuke them severely. Yes, I will rebuke the thieves. Yes, I will surely rebuke the thieves and deal with them severely. Yes, it is true. Yes, it is true indeed that I will severely deal with them. But don't you know that it is not all of my people who voted for righteousness? It is not all believers. So I serve you warning. All those listening on, the, on gotomeeting.com, if you voted for, for, for the devil, all right, you are in trouble with the Lord because I'm going to read to you. I'm going to read to you what, what, what God has decided to do about, uh, with all those believers who voted for the devil. Because you vote for Biden, you vote for the devil. You vote to destroy babies. You vote to destroy this nation. The liberties of this nation are at stake. Why don't you people think, are you led by your stomach? Do you serve the God of your stomach, ye demon rats? Me, I'm in trouble. Will you all pray for me? <laughs> oh, yes, God. He says here. But don't you know that it is not all of my people who voted for righteousness, who did what I wanted all my children to do as they went to vote? As you all went to vote, did, did, did any, 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 any of them, the majority, they don't, they, don't just, uh, they don't even consult God about what they should do with their vote. Because you are giving authority to some, some demon person. He come and lie to you. I'm going to do this for you. But he lied. Look at Obama. Obama lied to the whole nation. Obama lied. Oh, the judgment of God be upon him for the wickedness. 
You come and lie and tell us, oh, I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. You talk smooth. Let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The only thing, because the Lord warned us before Obama came and showed us in the book of Daniel. He said, that's him. That's who he is. He only, he talks smooth. Don't you see that that's the only thing Obama has? Smooth. Slick like a, a slick willy. <laughs> He talks smooth. That's why he has smooth talk. He will put you to sleep and so you vote for him. <laughs> I tell you, you can keep your doctor. You know, if you have a doctor, you can keep your doctor. It's all lying. How do you lie? Why is truth in our politics? Why is truth? A politician lies, okay, and everybody, you know, you know follows him. It's time for us to hold our elected officials to account, to a higher account of truth. If we are going to give such authority to them to rule over us, look at, look at the governors, Democrats government trying to control the nation and tie them down. Okay? But you gave them power. Think about those that you put in office. There had to be some God. You see, there was a time, there were some demon rights who, you know, who had God. Some, some years back, me, I have followed American stuff for, for a long time before, before, before I became American. I followed, I said, there are some demon rights, you know, who love God. But right now, ain't, ain't no single demon rights. They all go the same. Birds of the same father congregate within the same proximity. As the one goes us. <laughs> Oh, yes, God. He says here, many of my people turned their backs to my servant and voted for the wicked. Many rejected my servant instead of voting for him. But I want them to know that I will deal with them one by one. You hear that? If you know anybody who voted for Biden, won't tell him he's in trouble. He has to repent sincerely before God. Because there is judgment at the door. Ah, but I want them to know that I will deal with them one by one. When my people act like that and turn their backs against my servant. And I, and I listen, when they do that, and I allow things to happen in their lives, then they wonder why their lives don't go well for them. Yeah, that. I allow some things into their life. And they wonder, well, how come things don't go right for me? How can they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you are reaping what you sowed. This one, the Lord said, I'm going to make sure they reap. They reap what they have done. They did evil. They used their vote to promote evil. And you wanna you, you wanna reap blessings? No. You your vote was to kill babies. You know what they do? Uh, when my people act like that and turn their backs against my servant, and I allow things to happen in their lives, then they wonder why their lives don't go well for them. But I say I will deal with all of my children who turned their backs on my servant and voted for the wicked. They voted for unrighteousness to flourish in the nation. And I will surely deal with them one by one. When they do such things and the Lord deals with them and their lives do not go well, then they wonder why things don't go well. They even think it is someone, <laughs> someone who is doing some things against them, seeking to destroy them. No, it is not anyone trying to do anything against them. Rather, it is because of the crooked pathways they followed. The choices you made was a path you were following. Ah, rather it, it is because of the crooked paths they followed. They are on righteous ways 
and their evil attitudes and conduct. Yes, it is their works of darkness they carried out. They are crooked pathways they walked on. The lies and deceptions they told and filled their lives with. Yes, these are the reasons why things will not go well for them. What they have done. Crooked ways, lies. These evil ways they opened their lives to and, and lived their lives pursuing them. They eventually will bear fruit and they will reap the reward of their evil ways. Don't you remember what my word says? What, whatsoever a man sows, that and that alone he will reap. You don't know that? Yes, it is true. They sowed seeds of lying and cheating and deceiving and destruction, and they will reap the harvest that correspond to the seed they sowed. The plots and snares you laid for others are exactly what you will reap. They will be reversed and come back to you as your harvest. I want you to know how many snares they laid for my servant. Oh, my Lord. How many snares they set for Trump. But, but don't you see? Don't you see that they, they've been trying to, to, to ensnare him, to entrap him, and destroy him. And disgrace him. And you want to get free with your wickedness? There is a God who rules in the affairs of nations. And he will surely is coming to rule in this nation. And deal with the wicked. You've had your way too long. Messed up this nation for too long. Now the owner of this nation has come. The owner, the, the, the founder, the foundation has come. He's going to take back his nation. Amen. And he shall be established in righteousness. Ah, I want you to know how many snares they laid for my servant. The wicked surely laid all kinds of snares just to entrap him in every way. If it were not for the fact that I, the Lord, I was with him through it all. And destroyed most of the snares and plots. He would not be alive today. They would have taken him in their wicked plots and snares. But I was with him through it all, and I delivered him from them all. It is true that I, the Lord, I was with him because he is mine. He is mine. He belongs to me. I destroyed all the snares that were laid for my servant Trump. And there were many indeed. Even all the demonic world were gathered together to fight against him. They all came upon him as one mighty force. But I was there with him to deliver him. Brother, wouldn't you like to have God with you? Let the whole world be against you. Let all the demon rights be against you. And let God be for you. <laughs> ah. They all came upon him as one mighty force. But I was there with him to deliver him. I know that you people did not see what was going on because you had no eyes to see them. <laughs> but it is surely true indeed that the demonic kingdom ganged up against him. If I don't reveal them to you, none of you will ever be able to see, to see what happened. But it is true. And I, the Lord, I speak truth. So I want you to know that the other man it ain't that sad when all, all that God knows, knows of you is the other man. <laughs> oh, I tell you, it's, it's, it's just sad. A man will be so filled with lust for power. Lust for power that they are willing to, to, to cheat and lie. This one, brother, this is unheard of. Brother, some African nation went and did some stuff and put the, 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 what, the, the dominion, the, this and that. The, America will be jumping on them. Oh, no, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. But you are doing the same thing here. So who is not true? The devil called, called Jesus the devil. <laughs> oh, yes, God. 
says here. Ah. So I want you to know that the other man cannot sit on my throne. If they do not listen to me but disregard me and my will and purposes, they will not be able to stand and endure what I will unleash upon them. To deal with, uh, you know, with them severely. Yes, it is true indeed. It is I, the Lord, the Lord himself, the Lord who became the Lamb of God and who with his blood atoned for your sins and delivered you from the hands of the enemy. Yes, it is I, the Lord. Now, if I have come to deliver you with my blood and brought you to myself to be my people, yes, a people who will rule in my kingdom, why will I not rejoice over my people? I have to rejoice over you because you are mine. You are coming to rule with me. I have a people now who will rule in my kingdom. Oh, yes, God. So now I say to you, peace be unto you. Unto you. Peace, my peace I give unto you. The peace of the Son, the peace of the Father, and the peace of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with you all. Amen. You see, it's, it's a, the, the first time we heard the Lord bless us in this way. He said, peace be unto you. My peace, the peace of the Father, the peace of the Son, and the peace of the Holy Spirit be upon you. In that show, I never heard that before. So, no, no, so that is that 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 is that is how he says it. Now, what time is it? Can we go home? It ended. Okay, in about thirty minutes, I'll finish the second one, and then and then we'll go. I ain't gonna. Okay, oh, this ain't long, small. Okay, all right. November sixth. We've seen the fifth. Now we're gonna see the sixth. Oh yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. The Lord is alive. And so there is victory for us. Yes, it is true. The Lord is alive, and so there is victory for us. Yes, that's it. Yes, that's it indeed. The Lord God is alive. He's not a God who is asleep. Yes, because the Lord God is alive, there is victory for us. Yes, the living God who is alive takes care of his people. No one can strive with him. Who can strive with the living God who is alive. All power belongs to him. And because he is alive, there is victory for you. Whoever will seek to strive with the Lord God strives in vain. I say whoever will strive against the Lord God strives in vain. He cannot outlast the Lord God. And if he continues to strive with him, things will not go well with him and will end in destruction no one strives with the lord god and survives it will not end well with him the living god is a god of truth he is true and every word of his is true there is no lie in his mouth yes there is no lie in him no lie ever comes out of his mouth only truth yes pure truth and light come out of his mouth the Lord God is not the God of the dead. The Lord God is the God of the living. Yes, he is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of the living and not of the dead. Yes, let us sing the song again. Because the Lord God is alive, there is victory for us. Yes, as the Lord liveth, there is victory for us. Yes, yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. Yes, I am the Lord God. I am the Lord God. The Lord God with whom they are striving. You see that? They are striving with me. <laughs> yes, it is I, the Lord God, with whom they are striving. But don't they know that no one strives with me? Yes. Do they not know that no one strives with me? You don't strive with God. I say you don't strive with God. Whoever strives with God, it does not end well with him. Things don't go well with him. Because the Lord God alone is the God of truth. The Lord God alone is the God whose word is light. What comes out of his mouth is truth and light. 
No lie ever comes out of the mouth of, the, of God. Whatever comes out of his mouth is truth. He alone is the truth and the light. There is no lie and no darkness in him. So I want you to know that it is I, the Lord God himself. Yes, it is the Lord God himself. I want you to know that I am alive. The living God is the, the living God who is alive. I am not the God of the dead. No, I am the living God. Yes, the living God who lives, whose name is the Lord God Almighty. Yes, it is I myself. Yes, the I am that I am. Yes, that's me. <laughs> that's me, the living God who lives. It is I who created the whole world and all that is in the world. Yes, it is I myself. I want you to know that you should stand still. Do not waver. I will bring my salvation unto you. Yes, you will see the salvation of the Lord. Yes, I will bring my salvation. The Lord God is alive. Yes, you should know that your God is alive, the only true and living God. Yes, I'm the living God who lives. Yeah, did, you, did you all hear what I just said? I am the living God who lives. <laughs> he's, he's already the living God, but he lives. <laughs> so you say, but, but who can say that? I alone can say I'm the living God who lives. He says, yeah, I'm the living God who lives. Yes, that's me. I want you to know that he's alive. Yes, he's alive. And so, if he's alive, then you too will live. And if you too are alive, then it also means that victory is yours. Yes, victory is yours because I'm the one who gives you the victory. Yes, I give you the victory because you are mine. I give it to you. Yes, I give my victory to the people who are my church. I want you to know that my victory is for my church. And so... That's all I have for you. Yes, I will not add any more. My peace be with you and stand faithful and true to my word. I said, but that day he, he, he gave two, two messages. So, brethren, the Lord has told us he is who he is. No one defies him. I don't, I don't think God will go out of, it, uh, out of his way to do all these things if they were true. But they are crooked people. And, and, and the law will not allow uh, lies from the pit of hell because of what he wants to do with this nation. There's a purpose for right? that. That's why he's, he's, he's fighting. His word must be, must be known to be true. They are seeking to undermine the authority of his word. That's why he has to demonstrate his power. He will show up himself to defend his word and defend his name. You don't lie about God. You don't blaspheme his name. He will, he will hold you accountable. So the demon Christ are in trouble. They can run, but they cannot hide. They are all going to be exposed. So please, all those who, who are on the, on the side of the Lord, pray. Pray, because the Lord says we should pray. We should stand firm. We should support the president, because that is his servant. He has not finished what, what he wants him to do for this nation. And the nation belongs to the Lord. Okay, he has the right to, to tell us what he wants, what his will is. His will is that this vessel, at this very moment of this nation's life, this vessel is the one that God has appointed. You may, you, whether you like or you don't like, it doesn't change. God is God. And he will have his way. Right? We don't understand all that he knows, all he sees. Okay? So let us, with, with one accord, okay, just humble ourselves before God and pray. This is the least we can do for, you know, for God's kingdom. To pray so that his purposes for this nation will come to pass. Pray. So be involved. Be engaged with the Lord. Want to go far? Want to see a blessing? Just do what God says. Simply be obedient and take it seriously. 
and you will see there will be a blessing. The, the Lord, you don't bless God's work and he don't bless you. All right? You don't fight for God's kingdom and his glory and he don't bless you. He will bless them that honor him. That them that stand for his name. Them that say, I know Jesus. This is what he said he would do, so we're going to believe him. He's, he's telling us, believe what I say. Believe my word. Okay, so now, if you don't believe this one, this little one, then what will happen if I say some big ones, some big promises? That, well, what will you do? This is a small promise. And then you don't believe it. Then what, how are you going to walk with me in the huge promises that I, I want to release? He want to do, he said, he said, he said, you all know when I was down here, I did some strange stuff. I did some mighty work, he says. All right? But, but I, am yet, I am yet to show you who I am, my, my power. He said, I want to do strange things. I want to do mighty things that people will talk about. That's what I want to do in this nation. I want to do a mighty revival. I want to bless the earth one more time. That's what he has said. He told us. He said, allow me through your prayers and intercessions and your surrender to me to bless the earth one more time before I judge and destroy the earth. So there is one more mighty revival that is coming. A mighty revival coming. It's not a revival that when, when it comes, then they have to train you how to win souls. Oh, no. Oh, no, then nobody's going to train you. Those who are ready are those God's going to use. Those who are prepared, because when this revival comes in, he will, he, will, he will have workers to be sent out to the uttermost bounds of the earth to proclaim his good news. Then shall the, the end come. But the end ain't come, right? The kingdom of God must be preached to the uttermost bounds. So that nations will be saved. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for the word of God tonight. We thank you for your mercy. We pray for your servant Trump. You alone, oh God, can sustain him. You alone, oh God, can, can bring him back, Lord, to his throne. The throne is his. You gave it to him. And so, oh Lord, behold the wicked and all the plots, all the schemings, all, oh God, the, the machinations. Of the wicked. Lord determined to undermine your word. Undermine your truth. Ah my God. Who undermines God? Whoever undermined God and survived. Father let your hand be, Lord, be, be, be long. And let it reach as far as to the wicked. Wherever they are hiding. Lord bring them out. Into the open. And let them be put to shame. Open shame before the nation. For they are wicked. Who, Lord, who imagined wicked works, wicked, oh God, and abominable works to be done against the honor of God, against the glory of God. Father, it shall not stand. As thou hast said unto your people, this work is not of me. Therefore, it shall not stand. So we agree with the Lord. We agree, Father, that it shall not stand. This wicked, abominable plot shall not stand in the earth before the heavens. O oh Lord, hear our cry and let thy word be verified. Let thy word come to pass and let your people rejoice in the faithfulness of their God. So Father, we thank you that what you have said is what, Father, we are looking forward to. Your servant Trump shall once again, O oh God, Lord, sit on the throne according to thy word. And Father God, you will bless him, you will protect him, and you will use him mightily in this second term. This we, we ask, and this we pray, that it shall be so, according to the councils of eternity, according to the councils of heaven, who have decided, decided that Trump is the one they want. Father God, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let God be true. Let every man a liar. Let God be true. And let your servant Trump, Lord, triumph. Let Trump triumph in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Father God. Ah, yes, God. Yes, God. 